Kate Gabrielle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you basically my hair experiment with this wig right here. So this is a wig that I reviewed a little while ago. I've had this wig for like so long now, like I've had it since August of last year and I have messed around with it so many different times toning it all different shades, etc, etc. And today was just me deciding that I, again, wanted to try and do something different with it. I feel like the color isn't 100% what I want it to be. It's also under the studio lights and I've also got natural light coming in here as well. I still feel like it's kind of hard to see the true color, but I am so pleased because it is so much cooler than what it was. But anyway, hopefully this video will help you out if you are thinking about trying to lighten up one of your units. So without any more talking, let's jump right into today's video. So this is how the wig started out. As you can see, it's not terrible, but it does just look a little bit dull and it's just not as bright anymore. So first of all, I'm just gonna go in with the Ferrier Extreme Platinum. And I did a little test just to kind of make sure that the color would come out the way I wanted to before. And as you saw just there, it was quite close to the box color. So I knew that I wanted to go ahead. This is the Gex head that I use. I'll leave a link down below in the description box. I do always go ahead and cover it in um, cling film. Right here, it's uncovered. I think I remember to do it like halfway through or something, which is why you see me do it before. But yeah, definitely recommend covering your Gex head in cling film. So now this is after I remember to put the cling film on, as you can see. So I'm just coating that all over the hair and I left it on for about 30 minutes. Already you can see that the color has transformed. Annoyingly, one box was not enough and I didn't realize that it wasn't gonna be enough. So I had to like call my husband in a panic so that way he could go and get me some more. So my husband came back with the Nutrice in Lightest Platinum. I wanted the same as what I had, but they didn't have it in CVS. So I was just like, just get the lightest one that you can find. So this is what he came back with. I was quite worried that like the colors would be different, um, but they weren't. So here there was just a few places in the front that I missed. So I actually went over and processed them again, which I know is bad, but I did it. <laughs> like I told you, this is all an experiment. So just to ensure the hair didn't look too yellow, I did decide to put some shimmer lights on it and I just left that for a little bit. I also really deep conditioned this hair. I don't remember what conditioner I used, but yeah, I left it on there for like 30 minutes. So now this is where I'm gonna show you how I cut the hair. So I would like to, if I'm doing a cut for myself, like put it on my actual head and then kind of figure out where I want that length to be. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I knew that I was gonna like straighten it under. So I was just trying to like see, okay, how is this going to look? Once once I've kind of figured, okay, I've got the length, that's when I go ahead and put it on my Gex head and start doing the rest of it. So right here, what you're gonna see me do, I saw this YouTube video and this guy was just like, you could just twist the hair and then you can cut it and it's gonna give you that asymmetrical look. I got so scared that I, as you saw, like I went too far down, but like the cut looks good. Had I have just been brave enough to go a little bit higher, I think it would have been like fine, like the first time around. And looking back on this video, and if you're doing it yourself, I recommend that you just do it. Like just be brave and go that little bit shorter because otherwise like me, you're just gonna be messing around. So this was me, like I saw another video Obviously there's like a lot of weight in the back. So what I was trying to do was just get rid of some of that weight. And then I like continuously put it on my head to kind of see where the angle is. Um, here I'm using bobby pins to kind of see where I want the shortest length in the back. Like all of this is just annoying and I do feel like it would have been easier had I have done it the other way. Obviously I'm not a professional hairdresser. I just kind of mess around with things until they kind of look the way that I want them to, which is what I'm doing right here. So I'm just taking the hair in sections at this point and then just going in and cutting them. Oh my God, my technique. Yes, I know my technique is bad, but I get it to look the way I want it to in the end, even though it's not a great cut, obviously. This is some kind of, I don't even know, basement cut. <laughs> So I'm just messing around with the hair, just you know, making sure that it's choppy, making sure that it's got that uh, slant in it that I want it to. Finally, after messing around, messing around, I finally got it to look the way I want. So you can see like from that complete mess actually came a good style, but yeah, it was a lot. I actually have another video where I show you how to cut a really easy asymmetrical bob. And I really recommend that one over this video. If you've made it this far, then thank you so much for watching. And I will be back soon with another video soon. Bye guys.